Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and today's episode we're going to go and back indoors. Our washing machine has started to play up and um, need to get it fixed. With the old coronavirus and what have you um, going on all across the world it's getting harder and harder to get people to come out. I've rang up the um, the people who have insured, you know, you know, guaranteed the washing machine and they're just saying unless it's essential they won't be coming out. It's as simple as that. So we're sort of on your own. Um, which I'll have to take up with my um, insurance company because I'm paying for insurance that they can't come out and do it. And it's not essential, a washing machine. We could possibly, you know, get another machine in or get the next one able to wash it for us or whatever. You know, we are workarounds. I do understand fully. However, um, I've got a family of six and need to have the washing done. So what's happening is, is as soon as you fire the machine up, water is just pouring out of the, um, the soap drawer, pretty much. It's just chucking it out of there and flooding the kitchen. So... Um, We'll go indoors and have a look at that in just two ticks. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mars, hit the old subscribe button or whack the old bell, set notifications to all, and that will tell you that one, I've released a video or two, I'm on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6 p.m. UK time. Apart from that, I've got a few parcels come in um, very quickly. This one has come in from a fantastic company called GHS, Garden Hive Spares. Um, I have been ordering some bits and pieces up, um, and the post has been rather slow. Um, not because of the company, it's just, just the way things are. So you've got to sort of expect a bit of delay, a bit of delay time, a bit of downtime, because um, not all companies are working as uh, as fast as they normally are due to the old uh, obvious. So what we've got in this one, I've uh, got a few little bits and pieces. I've got a little tiny card. Um, they're promoting a Honda. Uh, they're part of a Honda, Bosch, Briggs and Stratton company, Husqvarna and what have you. So there's a little card there. Um, I'm not affiliated with this um, company in any way, shape or form, but they are a fantastic company without a doubt. And well, we've got a bit of bubble wrap. Okay, so this is for, I've got a Makita Dissol, which is a DPC 6400. That's come in uh, as part of the job lot, actually. And uh, it's got no filters in it, or very, very few. So it's got a filter there. It's also got a spare uh, fuel filter, which it needs. It's also got um, a fuel screen. Also got a big air filter, which is a big orange one, which is, which is the one that's missing, which is there. And it's got a proper NG case spark plug as well for this one, which should be uh, NGK, oh, it's a BPMR6A. So that's the, uh, the small one. So I've got that. Now the distro itself, I have had it running. It came as part of a job lot because a fellow who I bought a job lot off of, his boy worked on it and couldn't get it to run. I have since looked at it, um, and it's not running as well as it, it should do. I, I can just about start it, that's about it. But um, we'll have a close look into that as we go. I've got another parcel here, my tummy is rumbling. Another parcel here just come in. This has come from no idea. No idea at all. All parcels have been sprayed off as well because you just you just never know. So they've all been sprayed with some stuff. Okay, cool. This is a, um, a primer bulb assembly I'm, work, I'm waiting on. I've got a lawnmower called a Frisky Fox, uh, which doesn't have a primer bulb on it. So I've got a primer bulb for that. I'm waiting on some other parts for that one. I've got this one here as well. No idea where this has come from either. What do we have here? Another Garden Hire Spares package. Again, you've got the same card. Okay, cool. This is actually the... Um, the carburetor gasket repair uh, for the DPC 6400 and the part number is 2552. This is for a complete carburetor kit for a Walbro K10 stroke J10. So there's a part number for that um, which I should be redoing a carburetor on this one. This looks suspiciously like the same package. I don't know if I ordered two of these. I'm guessing it's come from the same company. Yet yeah, once again another Garden Hire Spares um, one and this is what we're waiting on too. This is a fuel line. So for the DPC 6400, I now have a complete fuel line, a complete carburetor kit, and a complete service kit. So that now should all fit in one box, but no matter, maybe all at different times. Um, I can now get on and do that video with that distal now because that distal, when it's up and running, will be worth quite a few quid. So that'd be cool. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, let's go indoors and let's check out this little washing machine. Okay, so here's the washing machine itself. We've got a Samsung, um, I don't know what it is, it's a digital innovator, something or other, uh, I'm not sure to make a model. It's a Samsung one, big, big machine though. 
Um, and what it's doing, as soon as you fire it all up, um, water is just coming out of this out of this drawer, and there's been, you know there's nothing you can do. Um, you have to shut it off and then drain it. But fortunately, to drain this on this machine, it's got a uh, rinse and spin, which is part of the drain cycle. So unfortunately, you're going to get more water coming out. It's got to go through a rinse stage first, and then it will drain it. So be prepared. If this has happened to you, there's a lot of water comes out. So what I'm going to do is I, I've sort of already sort of surmised what I would like to do is that when it's draining, the water from the drum is going out via the wastewater. I can see that. Um, so that's not the issue. It's when the water comes in to the soap dispenser and then should go down into the drum, that's where the problem is laying. I'm guessing it's going to be a blockage. I'm hoping it's going to be quite a quick, easy fix. So before you work on any of these type of machines, whether it be a kettle washing, tumble dryer, or whatever, make sure you turn it off and try and get as much water out of it as you can and disconnect the water at the back by turning the tap off and if need be taking the, um, the water supply off, which is done to just repair repair grips. But, I've got to pull my machine out before I can turn it off because the plug is behind and then I should be disconnecting the water supply so no more water can come into this machine. Um, so then I can get the machine out to the middle of the kitchen and we can work on it. Right, so the first thing we want to do is just want to get a, a bowl out, put it underneath because we're going to have to disconnect the waste water um, from the machine. Now maybe a bit of water in here, so put a bowl underneath and it will get some water collected from the S-pipe, from the S-bend as well. So I'm just going to disconnect the, water, the waste water pipe and there will be a bit of water come out. It won't be a great deal. But you just make sure that any waste water you get out, um, don't pour it back down the sink because you'll get it on the floor. So anything you get out of there, uh, chuck it out just outside of the lawn or down through your waste pipe. Okay. Okay, now I have the machine out. What I'm going to do now is actually going to turn my machine off and unplug it so I know the machine is safe, okay? And then I'm gonna turn off the valve that feeds the water in. Like so. So now I know that no more water can come into this machine once I start emptying it. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is try and remove the top of this machine. And that is done by two screws located at the back of the machine, they're only Phillips. and just remove them bolts out the top of the machine. Once that's done, what you can do is get hold of the back of the machine panel, give it a bit of a lift, go check because it is all plastic, a bit of a lift, and then we can take a bit of tap, and we can take the uh, top part of this machine panel off, and that comes off with relative ease. Now the problem we're gonna have with this machine is I'm assuming it's going to be the pipe just behind this um, this soap tray. There's a little tiny pipe that goes from the soap tray down to a drum, and I'll get you a close-up picture of that right now. Okay, so this is about as close as I can get you. Now we have one pipe that comes in here, and we have one pipe that comes in all the way down the bottom behind this spring. There's a pipe just here where my finger is here. Okay, it's a big black pipe. I'm guessing that's where the blockage problem is. Okay. Um, because the water comes in through the inlet, feeds, comes out through these vents here, drops down and then goes into the drum along the side. And that's where the problem I think is going to be where the pipe is actually blocked up. So what I'm going to now do, no, what I'm now going to do is remove this um, soap tray filler. And uh, I'll take it around the other side to show you how to remove that. Okay, so bearing in mind, this is my first time in doing it myself, I'm going to sort of make it up as I go along. So. You've got a screw up here, which is sort of obvious, because it screws through, this, through the filler. We're going to take that one out. You've got a couple of bits here. There's actually one screw missing there, which is funny enough, off the front of this panel. I'm going to remove that one as well. Without losing any bits, of course. The next ones I'm going to remove are going to be these two on the front of the panel here. That one and this one here. And now I did see that tray start to move backwards ever so slightly. So now we can see that the tray is starting to give its little secrets up. And that tray now wants now wants to move backwards all on its own. Okay. However, we've still got a few pipes to disconnect. We've got this one here and we've got the one underneath. 
Okay, with those screws now removed, I'm gonna remove this little tiny clip just here on the top. Let me make sure you're getting that. Yeah, little tiny clip on the top. It's got a little tiny um, clip back on a lawnmower engine. Just so wanna back that off, like so. Push that, twist that round to one side so it's out of my way. We've got a couple of feeding hoses which I'm gonna leave on for now. And this now should, to a degree, little tiny rubber grommet there, which I don't wanna lose. This now should, to a degree, start to give us some of the secrets. And it's been held on by that little tiny hose um, at the back. So let's just see how much I can get out of this. I want it to come just outside of this tray without breaking anything. There it goes. So that's now come out. So now I can get you around and show you this black hose that I was on about. Okay, so this is now a view of down the side. Here's, here's the, um, the soap dispenser, and here's that little tiny pipe I was on about, and I can feel a bit of a blockage in there. I'm gonna remove it from this side here first, off of the soap dispenser, and then I wanna remove this pipe out of the way. Once this pipe's been disconnected, I can then remove this, this, this soap dispenser completely out of the way. Okay, so let's get this removed. Now, what all I would say is be prepared for a bit of water, because there is water within this system where it's blocked up. So I'm gonna get a tea towel, and I'm just gonna put it underneath this pipe to try and catch the majority of water that comes out. Now, I'm not expecting there to be loads, but I'm expecting there to be some. So I'm just gonna surround it so I can at least um, remove this pipe. Simply pinch the two clips in as I showed on the previous pipe on the top. Pinch them in and rotate them all the way down. And then this pipe should, by the power gray skull, start to remove itself. Here it comes. So now the soap dispenser can now be moved right out the way. There was no water in here, which is good. So here's the pipe that I'm on about. And as you can see, there is already some soap um, in there. And I'm guessing that's the one that's caused me problems. I'm now gonna remove this other little clip off of here. <laughs> and then remove that hose also. Hopefully there's no water and there's not. However, this pipe is completely filled up with um, soap and dirt and grime, okay? Now also, this pipe here, just wanna put my finger in very gently and just retract some of what's in here. I'm gonna put the hoover in here eventually. And this, is, this would be just like sludge. So this is what we're dealing with. All this sludge. This is all was clean water, as I say. This is all soap, event effectively. That's all it is, is just soap. So I'm gonna be very careful in how I get all this out. And I'm gonna give that hose, that little hose, a nice little clean. Uh, I'll do it with a hose pipe outside. I don't want to put any water down, down through the sink. Give it a good clean. And once this has been cleaned, and also this pipe here, I'm gonna put the hoover in here. And I'll try and take the camera off so I can show you what it looks like inside. I'm not expecting it to look very pretty in there. It is a washing machine, it washes dirty clothes, that's its job. This machine is only about eight months old, so um, I think the problem is it doesn't get enough hot washes, that's the issue. Let me try and get a, a couple of shots of inside that pipe, see what it looks like for my own benefit. Okay, I don't know how good this is gonna be. I'll try and spin you around as best I can and try and get a little shot inside there. What's that looking like, can you tell me? I expect it's really horrible and yucky, and Mrs. P will hate me for showing you this, but it's only soap. Um, so I've got to remove all of that stuff before I can um, continue. And then as I say, I've got, just got to clean, clean this little pipe up here also, give it a good clean out, and hopefully um, that should be the little fix done. So let me get it cleaned and I'll come back to you.
Okay, that's been cleaned. Also, there was a bit of dirt just in there too. So that's been cleaned out as well. I might take this one off too, whilst I'm here. It sort of defeats the object if I don't. Yeah, see a little bit of dirt just in there? A little tiny bit of dirt, so wash that out as well. And the pipe has now been cleaned out as well, the, the big pipe, that's all now been cleaned. I've now hoovered up most of the stuff out of this hole here. Um, that looks very clean indeed. Okay, happy with that. And as I say, all this is is just soap, soap build up. So I think we need to put more hot washes through here and some service cleaner stuff. As I say, th this machine is not very old. Um, hopefully that's now fixed it. So what I've got to do is reinstate this little tiny, um, Pipe. Got two little tiny grommets, just a two little tiny tabs there. They go up the top of the machine, and it's got to be tight. It's got to be because it's got to be water tight. You see, so go a bit careful. Put it all the way on, and then bring the clip up to where it should be, right onto the neck. Should be about there. Okay, and then this pipe here then can then be um, connected onto a pipe just down here, which is also spotless. There's not a mark in there. So that can all then be connected onto that there and then screw it back down. So let me connect this pipe up first and then reinstate this pipe and I'll come back. Right, that's the, um, the soap dispenser um, now put back in, just screwed in very gently. Oh, it looks like someone's come back and seen me. Who's that? Me. Oh, hello, Riley boy. Back. Where have you been? You? you did call me, yeah, I know, you did call me. Where have you been? I've been working. You've been working? A walking, you've been out for your daily Daddy, exercise. Yes. You can you try? In a bit, mate, yeah. Can you go and get me a cushion? What's your cushion? A cushion from a, from a settee. Okay. So Riley Boy's back, Nana's back. They've all been out on their um, daily exercise. I'm Daddy. Thank you, buddy. Where are you? I'm gonna put this down here for my knees. Thank you. Yeah, you too, okay, uh -huh. cool. You can definitely help. I've been waiting for you to help all day. Um, got this little pipe here to put back on. Thank you. Now again, it's got these little tiny tabs that sit over the little tiny bungs just here. So put that on. Help. You can help them to take my little, my little puppet. Help. Hang on, buddy. And then just put the clips on. Like so, get a bit of a twist. So they've got to be on all the way, otherwise it ain't gonna be watertight. Daddy. Yeah, how was your walk, Nana? It was lovely, but um, Becky's road was, like, we thought it was closed because it's um, barricaded off, but yeah. Yeah, they have closed a lot of natural parks off. Yes, buddy. What's well, well, washing machine? Washing machine. Washing machine is broken. Hopefully, but, Daddy might have fixed it. Okay. Uh, it says two something. We're going there two. Day. Yeah, cool. Daddy. So, with that now, um, that pipe now cleaned. The big pipe now cleaned. And the, uh, that's a weight. And all these, all the muck sucked out of the drum hole. That um, should now cause the uh, problem to be able to be fixed. Um, what we're going to do now is screw one, two, um, back in, that, that'll secure these in, and then one, two, three, um, to hold the, the face back on. I'll do that now. Right, so as I say, um, once this has now been fitted, you need to double check that the big pipe behind that we, um, we've cleaned out and reinstated, you need to double check that that pipe is not in any way, shape or form kinked, because it's got a kink in it, or it's been twisted, then it's, it's, just, it's just gonna block up. So make sure, put your hand behind there, I'll get a, a camera behind. I can feel behind me that that pipe comes down nicely off the, um, off the drum and there's no kink in it. We'll have a quick visual inspection, which I can see. It's all on exactly as it should be with no kinks. If it's got a kink, it won't work. Now it needs to have like an S-bend to it because if it doesn't, any water that's trapped there will start to smell out the drawer. So make sure that it's got like an S-bend at the bottom Similar to, what, similar to what's in your sink and what have you. And we'll go from there. I'm going to leave the top of the cover off. As soon as Mrs. P's finished making some noise. I'm going to leave the top of the cover off to um, make sure I don't have no water leaks before I put the cover back. So I'm going to re-hook it back up and then I'm going to do a spin drain, which means I'll get water coming in 
through here and then into the drum it would spin do a full cycle and come back out so i bring it back in two ticks once i've got the machine pretty much close back in all the water turned back on and that we do a quick little test right so i've got it all back in it's all plumbed back in water's turned back on power source is turned on that drawer goes in so i'm going to turn it on now and then we're going to put it onto a um, rinse stroke spin hit the old play button and what we should see is water coming in to this drawer and technically you should be able to pull this pull this drawer out and the water should still exit via the um via in, into the drum that's the idea so give us two ticks i'll turn it back on so this will be a bit of a long process so i'm just going to watch it as i go i may turn you guys off um, as and when but if anything anything bad happens you'll be the first to know well after mrs pier of course so we've got water coming in now to the drum just waiting for it to come in via the um via the soap dispensing agent as i say it may take a little while because I, I have to pause it in between so we'll see what happens So now we've got water going into the drawer. I can hear it. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and remove that. A bit of water coming out because it is just filling up by the stomach drawer. So now we shouldn't see any water overfilling. A bit of dirt coming through, which is good to see. But that's going to continue doing that until that drum is full. yesterday what was happening was this water was coming down through here I'll, I'll bring it down so you can see as you can see the water was coming down through here and it was overfilling but now you can see that's actually now starting to go down into the drum where it should do we've got a bit of water spillage here where I took the drawer out so I'll clean that up because I want to make sure no other leaks coming from anywhere else And by now, that, by now, that would have definitely have filled up and be going across the kitchen floor, which is not. I made a bit of a mess where I was uh, took the drawer out, that's all. Hey darling, that was done. Over overfilled my album. Yeah, it's definitely not overfilling. And it was making like this gurgling noise yesterday. So it looks like we might have cured it definitely not running over top which it was doing beforehand so this has got to do a complete cycle now and a complete drain and then what we do is we put a load of washing in and we fill it up and see what happens all right there's nana she's going to put the right amount of soap in this time nana in you yeah good girl and the right amount of softener nana yeah. here we go that's it all right let's hit the old button then see what happens and hopefully, I don't think you'll put them in the right program, sweetheart. Yeah. That's it. So I don't on the other program, do I? Hit the old button, and hopefully, we get no leaks. It all sounds promising. And we'll see what we get. So it's got to fill up first with the old drum, of course put um, water uh, water into the clothes it's got to spin and then it fill up the drawer it's filling up the drawer now I can hear it and no water coming out yet it doesn't take long to fill it because um, it's only a small pipe so it would, have, it would have overfilled by now wouldn't it Nana's watching it with bated breath <laughs> that would have overfilled by now wouldn't it Yes, it was, yeah. There you go, it's spinning. Yeah, that's fixed, Nana. Well done, Daddy. Thank you, Riley boy. Well done, Dad. Okay, so that's that washing machine now all up and running exactly as it should do. And pretty much the only tools you need for that is your hands and a Phillips screwdriver. That's it. Quick, easy, and simple. And I would say that fix would work for any front load um, with the, the draw on the front machine. 
that will work for any washing machine as long as it's got that little tube going from a drawer going down to the drum. Mrs. P and Nana are super happy and now get some washing done and the weather's quite good and get the washing out of the line because it's been stocking up for the past day or so. So nice, quick and easy and very, very simple. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel, whack the old bell and set notifications to all. That way you'll be told after this time a video. Hope you did enjoy it. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mixed Mails very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take it easy.